Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again today. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. When they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Habib. Even our teammates say, it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with Bear? <laughs> he is so strong, he's so physical in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me right. down, but Just it's okay. It sure. It's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Kinshasa, Congo, the king. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nibagomedov! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Are you ready? All right, here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA, gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early. This year. Just missing on the uppercut there. 
Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Nermago Mata. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Flush right hand is true. He blocks the punch. March on, three minutes to go. Nice loop and punch. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stick on all these shots and get blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big head kick land. Try to establish that jab. They continue to exchange. Great punch. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds the knockout. Nice head kick. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Clean left punch followed by the right. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss. Spider Mago Metal. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Sneaky head kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and land some big knees from the close. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Big punch lands through the middle. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Big leg kick lands. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And he counters with a left hand. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Good stick. And both guys really throwing with a four. So here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target. Not him, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Oh, man, that's... 
jumped out of your seat a little bit after that shit. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Beautiful strike. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make you pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice kick. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Beautiful punch. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Lands with the right hand. Oh, right hand gets up to block it. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. That's a big strike right there. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Collar tie. Oh, knee to the head. The next with a right. Just look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Wow, that. Oh. Punch is blocked. Big punch land. Big kick lands. Oh! Back and forth we go. Oh, collar tie. That one stuck in. Nice strike. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Nurmagomedov. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Right hand on point. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. He should never be a stationary target, so even with the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip the head at a point. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Punch over the top. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Nice counter right hook there. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Nice leg kick land. 20 seconds to go round two. Pretty good jab there by Nermago Medoff. He lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. 
he landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it but by getting hit over and over in the face. Nice punch lands over the top. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Uppercut attempt does not get to the target. Nice job defensively there by Nermago Meta. Boy, Thai Plump. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Takedown defense holds up. Nermago Medov gets caught by the inside. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. He'll engage in a single collar tie. They're going at it now. The leg kick checked by Nermago Medov. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. To throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Nice. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, man, he's hard. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Left-right combo is good. Let's move that head now. Medov gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Way to hide that leg kick. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Single collar tie there. Right hand punch from the clinch. Beautiful take down the tip man. Under two minutes to go. Well, the ground and pound has been on a point tonight. Good work here by Nermako Meta. Oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? What a punch. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes. Near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to the expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great Nice strike. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50, because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. 15.
15 seconds. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Right single collar tie now. And they separate. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Straight punch land. Countering with the jab here, but he saw it coming a mile away. Nice job there to block it by Nurmagomedov. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! It's oh! What he He's on back. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. I need you to pay attention. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. He's grabbing the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and landing a beautiful punch. Really got his opponent on those here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. That was a thudding leg kick. Just missed with the left there. Not there. Oh, big left hand there. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Ooh, what a punch. Just out of the range with that right hand. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a... Oh! All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, he's up, but he is hoping for certain the finish could come at any time. Nice punch there. Single collar tie now. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping his guard high. Oh! Two first, third him up. Go get him. Big knee to the body. Oh, look at that. That's it. Holy smokes. <laughs> Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 59 seconds of round number four. Declare the winner by knockout, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. 
Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You've only asked the party to what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.